Dead by Daylight has a semi-exclusive program meant to honor and recognize streamers in their community by giving them access to exclusive Twitch shirts for their survivors and Twitch charms for both roles. This program was designed to help build community relations and help DBD recognize those streamers that go above and beyond. However, the program has not quite been meeting its intent. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Twitch shirt problem. <laughs> Before we get into the Twitch shirt problem, we need to understand what the Twitch shirt program is and what it means to actually qualify for the Twitch shirt and Twitch charms. So, as you can see, we're on the Dead by Daylight page for the Twitch shirt update in October of 2021 when this program started. It, it gives you a little bit of detail at the beginning that talks about how representation is important for Dead by Daylight and how they want to recognize their streamers who go above and beyond on their platform for both Dead by Daylight and Twitch. But if we scroll down, we can take a specific look on how to get a Twitch shirt and charm. Basically, it kind of covers everything you need to know. There is no official application process, which a lot of people say is one of the issues, but I'm going to get into that later in the video. The way this program works, at the end of every month, the last week of the month, they go out and actually explore the Twitch browse page for people playing DBD with hashtag shirt my survivor in their title. And that is how you get chosen to earn the Twitch shirt or Twitch charms, whether you play survivor or whether you play killer. It says right here specifically that we're always keeping an eye out for passionate streamers on Twitch who build a strong and positive community. In fact, we have guidelines in place to help you see if you're on the right track. To qualify, all influencers must be a Twitch affiliate or partner, be an exemplary dead by daylight content content creator in good standing on Twitch and we're going to come back to this one specifically in this video later on and have displayed dead by daylight streaming schedule with a minimum of 20 dedicated hours per month. Ultimately these requirements aren't that crazy. They're pretty normal. So I do like the fact that everybody no matter what your Twitch status is you are eligible to earn one of these shirts. It also says that streamers are able to qualify for the Twitch shirts and charms by participating in DBD Twitch events such as Twitch Rivals or DVD hosted community events such as Into the Rainbow or anything of that nature. However, the big thing on this article that sticks out to me is nothing is guaranteed. There's a lot of vague writing that allows them a lot of ambiguity on when exactly the program is being active and being worked on and being given out. Because at the end of the day, this program is very simple. The qualifications are very simple. And if the, if the qualifications are easy to understand and participate and achieve, why are so many people disheartened by the Twitch shirt program? Why is this program not working? And that's what we're going to be getting into today. Two weeks ago, I made a Twitter thread titled Twitch shirts. Why is it so hard to get them and how it could be better a dead by daylight thread? This, this was mainly to talk about this program and how the program has its flaws and why it's not actually doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be building streamer relations. It's supposed to be giving hope to the community, but instead it's not. So this thread, I, I I wrote this entire thread in the intent to just kind of get my ideas out there because I'm not just here to attack the program. I'm not here to say the devs are making mistakes. That's not what this is about. I have the utmost respect for the developers of this game and I truly love Dead by Daylight. But what I want to see is this program that's meant to build the relations between the Dead by Daylight team and the streamers and content creators who practically build this game up for them with a massive audience, I want to see those relations get better. So in this thread, I talked about a lot of things. I talked about the vagueness of when and where Twitch shirts are given out and how infrequently it's done because we only see them maybe once every two to three months. And when they do, it's one person who possibly gets a shirt. And it, it tends to just be like this really inconsistent pattern that makes it feel really lucky and random, which doesn't make sense with the qualifications that we just went over. So what I want to talk about before we get into the problem and how to solve the problem is why is this so important? I'm sure there's somebody watching this video who at the end of the day is like, these are just shirts in a video game. Why should you care? It's not that important. It's an ugly cosmetic. I've seen all the comments, but that's not what it's about. 
This isn't just about a Twitch shirt. This isn't just about a cosmetic in a game. For a lot of us content creators who have been pouring hours upon hundreds of thousands of hours into this game, creating content on Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, and really pouring our heart and souls into this game, this is about getting recognized by the game. Getting those Twitch shirts is such a huge moment for us content creators because that's literally, that's like, that's DBD coming to your front door and saying, hey, I appreciate the work you're doing. You're doing so great. I see you. Here's these cosmetics in game. It's, it's more important than just having a shirt to wear on my Jake. It's more important than just having a charm on my hook when I play Deathslinger. It's literally about that connection between the developers and the creators of the game. And that is why this program is so important. There are countless streamers, countless content creators over the course of these past two weeks who have reposted my thread, who have posted their own threads, who have all mentioned different things about this program and why they feel disheartened and defeated and why the program's not working. These voices need to be heard. And that's why I'm making this video. I'm hoping Dead by Daylight will see this video like I assume they've seen the thread. And hopefully, the voices of everybody will be heard. We don't want this program to become easier to obtain. We don't want this program to be removed. We just want more communication on this program and more active interactions from the dev team with their community because we want to maintain this relationship between Dead by Daylight and its streamer and content creator community. And while we're talking about community relations and how the community feels about the program, one of the specific things I want to talk about is the second bullet in the qualifications, which specifically says that you need to be an exemplary Dead by Daylight content creator in good standing on Twitch. But what exactly does this mean? Because there's a lot of content creators that have done some amazing things in the community that still have gone unrecognized or haven't received their Twitch shirts or anything of that matter. For example, we have Sergeant Fidget, who is a partner Dead by Daylight streamer who's recently been branching out into variety. Last year, Sergeant Fidget held the second biggest content creator collaboration to date in the history of Dead by Daylight, only behind that of Light in the Fog for Puppers. This event brought 150 content creators together in order to participate in a crazy wild tournament of Sergeant Fidget's design to raise money for St. Jude. This was a three-day event that I was lucky myself to be a part of and we ended up raising over $63,000 for St. Jude. Paul with the thousand dollar donation! Fifty thousand dollars race for... Fifty thousand dollars for St. Jude. I had this idea five months ago for this event. I said I wanted to go big or go home, but I was like, uh, I, you know, a, a content creator of my size might be absolutely ridiculous by thinking I can do an event where we raise $50,000 for St. Jude, and we just did it, and we have the entire stream still to go. $50,000 to help kids battle childhood cancer. DBD community can do good. Thank you for $50,000, everybody. Dead by Daylight did not appear at the event. There were no Twitch shirts given out to any of the 150 content creators who participated in this or Sergeant Fidget himself for single-handedly orchestrating 150 people for over a three-day period to participate in a tournament that he was completely directing behind the scenes of his stream. We have content creators such as Pixel X Kitten, who actually participated in the DBD hosted event Into the Rainbow alongside other fog whisperers and content creators. But the catch here is Pixel Kitten is not a fog whisperer. Pixel Kitten also does not have Twitch shirts. She was not given Twitch shirts at this event. Now, guaranteed, she did not expect Twitch shirts. She did not believe that um, her being there, she should be given them. But it is kind of weird when you think about it. When one of your requirements specifically says if a content creator participates in one of your events they qualify but you still didn't give out a twitch shirt 
And then you have content creators like Real Slow Loris, who actually left an extremely detailed response to my official thread in the DBD forums about the Twitch shirts and what needs to be changed. I'm not going to go over everything that Loris said, but I am going to summarize a lot of the main points. One thing I really appreciate about Loris's thread is Loris really went into detail about how it feels from the affiliate point of view, where you're actively doing everything you can and you're trying to and you're not seeing any results and you're seeing all this other stuff and the way it affects you mentally. Loris actually changed their hours that they streamed to try and catch behavior earlier, right when they were like really close to pushing partner numbers, sacrificed a bunch of viewership to change their hours and their times, playing with friends on the NAE servers to try and catch a dev in the game. Uh, th there's so many things that they went out of their way to do to try and get behavior's attention and all seem to not. But I think one of the biggest things about it is they are an active member on the Reddit forums, on the DVD forums, reporting bugs, responding to bugs, showing that they are an active member of the community and really fighting to get this shirt if you've ever seen their tweet and it just hasn't worked out for them which you know they've expressed how it makes them feel and it's how a lot of dbd content creators are feeling which is part of the problem but one thing i found really interesting in everything loris had to say uh, the entire thing was interesting but one thing i found really interesting about it was loris actually received confirmation from a dev on one of the reddit posts that there isn't a designated developer doing this every last week of the month official confirmation that there's not somebody assigned it's not something the developers actively do it's just something Thing that maybe when they get to work they log in and maybe give out a shirt or two and that's why it only happens so many months that right there in itself is one of the problems that we're gonna be getting into if you want to see loris's full experience i'll be leaving all the links to everything down below where you can go support the official forum post that i've made as well as see what loris really had to say because it's a lot of information that i think a lot of us can relate to Vicky Valiant also made a really important thread and, and brings up a lot of really good ideas on how we can fix the Twitch shirt problem as a whole. But one of the things that I really want to point out that Vicky spoke about was streamers are a huge part of the game. Without our advertisement through our content creation, there would not be as much of a reach to DVD as there is. To roll out a Twitch shirt program and even Fog Whisperer program and barely do anything with it is sad. Many people want to be a part of this thing you have on, yet it's been collecting cobwebs only to be remembered about every few months. Please listen to the streamer community. We just want to see more distribution every month. At the end of the day, this is a conversation that a lot of people are having right now, and it, DBD needs to be listening. There are many voices being spoken out because at the end of the day, this program isn't doing what it's meant to do. It's not building relations with your community members because it's not an active program. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about why so many Dead by Daylight content creators, dedicated creators, are leaving Dead by Daylight. And one of those reasons is because the community doesn't feel like they are being being recognized. I genuinely think without streamers, Dead by Daylight would not be as successful as it is. I believe that streamers are the backbone of this game. And a lot of us aren't shown the recognition that we deserve. I personally don't care if I never ever ever get Twitch shirts, but there are so many creators within the Dead by Daylight community that absolutely deserve Twitch shirts. I may not deserve them and that's completely fine, but there are so many that do. And it feels like we only get a Twitch shirt drop every like three months or so. There's no definitive way to get these shirts without just luck. There's no way to apply for them. There's nothing. With Dead by Daylight being as small of a community as it is, creators do need some recognition for playing the game, and I just feel like it's unseen. Honestly, Slushy makes a lot of really good points in her entire video on why she's temporarily quitting Dead by Daylight. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest watching it. But she brings up a very valid point when talking about Twitch shirts and even the Fog Whisperer program, which I'll save that for another video. She makes a very good point with the Twitch shirts that creators aren't being recognized, which is part of the problem.
There are many other creators that I could have put in this video that would have made this video pretty long and I'm I'm honestly trying to keep it as short as possible. I'm a very talkative person. This is my first time doing a discussion video, so please bear with me. What I would like to say is there are a lot of content creators that I could have put in this video. A lot of people that have done some amazing things in the community from charity events, creating custom content, so many different things that people have done. There's so many good examples of people representing Dead by Daylight and and Twitch in good form, yet they still haven't had their opportunity. So with that being said, let's dive into why is getting a Twitch shirt so difficult? Ultimately, we've talked about a lot of things in this video so far. In my opinion, there are two main problems with the Dead by Daylight Twitch shirt program. The first one being the lack of guidance on the when and where. When we look at the official post about the qualifications, it says that the last week of the month is when the developers are actively going out and looking for people in the Twitch browse page. But at the same time, we also know that there isn't a developer assigned to do that every single month, which is why we go two to three to four months without ever seeing a Twitch shirt given out, or we only see one or two given out. And if Twitch shirts are being given out, then there isn't any visibility that the program is working, which is another thing that I think is very important is communication and visibility from behavior about this program. So some of my ideas to provide solutions to the program and to the problems at hand, number one is just establish a specific date or time. If we can have an established date and time frame that we know a developer is going to be actively browsing the Twitch page and looking for somebody that fits the qualifications, that will boost morale and also benefit both parties. Having a specific date or time instead of just vaguely a whole week, it would allow content creators to shift their schedules to actually stream during that block in hopes of being seen and being discovered and getting that recognition that we all are really looking for. And on the plus side for Dead by Daylight, doing a specific day or days at specific time intervals, it's going to boost the overall viewers and streamers on Dead by Daylight during that time period, boosting them on the Twitch page itself. I know some people are saying that this would make it too easy for people to get recognized or get seen, but in all reality, I don't think so. If we go to the Twitch browser page and put into the search bar hashtag shirt my survivor and show all the channels available that have that currently in their title or their tags, the possibilities right now are endless. You can continue scrolling through and you're going to see so many different streamers and different names and different people. So at the end of the day, if we were to have a specific date and time, it's not going to make it any easier for everybody to get recognized. But one thing it will do is allow everybody to know that someone is out there actively looking to giving them out, which means your chances, our chances are much higher at possibly getting one of these Twitch shirts. My second idea that can help boost the program and make it much better is if the official Dead by Daylight page actually makes posts and reels and shows us the people that they're giving out these Twitch shirts to. It doesn't take that much to drop the Twitch shirt and clip the streamer reaction and, and take that reaction and post it on the DBD official Twitter page and, and announce like, hey, this month, congratulate this streamer for receiving their Twitch shirts. And one, it, it's going to boost morale because people are seeing the program program actively working. It's going to motivate people to keep going, to keep trying, to keep putting themselves out there, to keep boosting the game, to keep playing the game. At the end of the day, it's, it's a win-win for both behavior and the community because we get to congratulate the people who are getting them while we also get that confirmation that this is an active program, this is happening, and behavior actually cares about their connections that they're building with their streamer community. My third idea is to use the community. Dead by Daylight has Fog Whispers who are partnered creators with the game and represent Dead by Daylight in everything that they do. Fog Whispers are actively engaged in the communities on Twitch within the DBD spaces. I'm sure every Fog Whisper probably has a list of 
a few people that they can name that they think would be great for the Twitch Share program. You could even give codes to the Fog Whispers to give out to individuals that they believe are worthy of the Twitch Shirts, which would also allow for other content creators in other regions of the world to have the opportunity to receive Twitch Shirts that might not be online when behavior is in their office. Another idea you could do is when you give a Twitch shirt, you could take a recommendation for a channel to go check out. And there's actually one thing that Vicky said that I actually really liked. And the idea was that, you know, sometimes if you if you know a specific streamer that you're looking for, don't worry about waiting till they're live. You could always drop the code in their whisper box and they could discover it when they go live next, which I think is a pretty cool idea as well. And it would speed up the process and get more people recognized as well. I think ultimately using the community for references or things like that would be a really great suggestion. We see it on Twitter all the time. We see people tagging many creators that they believe should get the Twitch shirts. Hell, I've talked about some in this video right now that I believe get deserve them as well. Another idea I had that I didn't actually put in this thread was like if behavior wanted to make it into like an automated system, maybe they could create something where when you link your Twitch account to your behavior account and you have so many hours in game or you've reached a certain devotion level or you've streamed the game for a certain amount of hours that you could unlock the Twitch shirts because it's, you've shown your dedication to the game. That could also be an interesting take on it that would probably alleviate behavior from having to assign somebody to do the task once a month, but it would be a lot less personal, but I don't think it's a bad idea either. One of the big things people talk about are applications and, and devil's advocate, I understand why applications could be a bad idea because at the end of the day, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of streamers submitting applications and that's way too much work for one person or a team of people to go through and try and sort and figure out who actually qualifies, who actually, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I, I can get that aspect of why applications don't work, but maybe applications could work. Maybe from the aspect of having a simple to fill out application where people can just say why they think they deserve Twitch shirts and you know maybe one day when a developer is going through them they can select them and read why they think they deserve them or what their accolades are or things like that an application process could work but I can also see why that could be very overwhelming which is why I think my other ideas could really benefit the program a bit more than applications could but that is my own personal opinion all in all the problem with the program is there's not enough communication and visibility from behavior and on the streamer side of is the Twitch shirts being given out. There's a lot of people that are feeling a lack of morale, a lot of people that are feeling down because we're going months without any type of recognition and we don't actually see the program working and so many people are fighting for this program and really want to get their opportunity to be recognized and rock some, some Twitch cosmetics in game. Like I said before, this video isn't meant to bash the developers or anything like that. I truly respect the developers and I truly love this game. I truly believe that this is one of the most important programs that Dead by Daylight has ever introduced to their community and streamer community. And I would really just love to see it be more interactive and more engaging and really boost morale the way it's supposed to. If you stuck through the video this long, I appreciate you hanging out on my first discussion. I apologize for it being a little bit longer than I intended. I was shooting for 15 to 20 minutes. But don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I, I want to start doing more discussion style content. So feel free. Give me your opinions down below in the comments. What do you think about the program? What are your suggestions that you think could help the program and help content creators and help behavior? Because who knows? They might see this video and they might read some of the comments. And with all that being said... Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out the links below in the description if you want to go support the official forum post. And like always, my name's Osu, and I'll see you out there in the fall.